Science can happen anywhere. In fact, sometimes all you need to pull off some amazing experiments is a kitchen and some leftover ingredients. Today we'll show you some awesome kitchen science tricks and thanks to our sponsor Blue Apron, we'll even show you how to whip up a gourmet meal along the way. Let's kick this kitchen science soiree off with some color changing noodly goodness. To start, you'll need some clear rice noodles, a red cabbage, and three cups of water. You need to remove some of the leaves from your cabbage and it's much easier to do this if you cut it in half first. Peel off several leaves and proceed to fill the bottom of a medium sized cooking pot. Now add three cups of water to the pot, so that's two from the measuring cup and one from the flask. You want to boil the cabbage for about 10 minutes because this will pull that dye right out of the cabbage and directly into the water. While it's boiling, grab a lemon and cut it in half. Squeeze out all the juice you can into a container, and if you have one, pour it into a spray bottle. When your cabbage is starting to look drained of all color, you can go ahead and pull it from the heat and remove the leaves from the water. Tongs worked fine for us, but you can just use a strainer if you have one on hand. You'll be left with a nice purple liquid that's just baking for its first chemical reaction, so let's not disappoint it. Get a little baking soda, and I do mean a little. We'll be using a quarter teaspoon here because anything more will give us the wrong color. Put the baking soda in the pot and stir it around. Kazam! Your liquid is now blue and it's time to add the noodles. While clear noodles like these work best for showing vivid colors, you can use any noodles or pasta that you have on hand. Just place them all in the pot, close the lid, and let them soak up that delicious cabbage water. Let it all sit for about 5 minutes or you can even add it back to the heat if they're really stiff. Just make sure they're fully dyed blue before emptying it all out into a colander. When it's all drained, it already looks pretty cool and it's entirely edible. But slap it down on a plate and will change its color before your very eyes. Grab that lemon juice bottle and aim it directly at the noodles. Give it a few healthy sprays of juice and sit back as the cabbage dye goes from blue to a pinkish red. When you're all done, it should look like this. A real potluck party winner. Oh, and if you were wondering what happens when you add too much baking soda, check out this green pasta. Mmm. Now we've got more kitchen science coming, but if the noodles didn't get your appetite flowing, then this will. Our sponsor, Blue Apron, sent us one of their amazing ingredient and recipe boxes. We're going to bust it open. This gets delivered right to your door in a refrigerated box, and it's loaded with all the farm fresh ingredients you need at exactly the right proportions. So you can avoid that trip to the grocery store and get cooking right away. We're going to make the Zatar spiced chicken thighs and see how we do. Each recipe comes with an ingredient list, clear instructions, and even photos to use for reference. We'll start by prepping all our veggies. Cut the carrots, slice the shallot, grate the garlic. Hmm, how about we clip the collards and even level the lemon? It's also probably not a bad idea to quickly toss together our yogurt sauce for later. After the veggies are seasoned and the chicken spiced up, it's time to get cooking. We'll start by tossing the veggies in the oven and heating up some olive oil in a pan. Once that gets heated up, we'll just throw the chicken in and let the heat do its thing. The last thing we need to make is the couscous. The pre-measured bag makes quick work of this. Just pour it in the pot and add a little water. Now you get to choose from 8 recipes each week, so you can try all kinds of new and exciting dishes that you've never had before. Alright, looks like the chicken's done. We'll just pull those out to rest for a few minutes and reuse the pan to cook up the collard greens and garlic. If you've been wanting to try Blue Apron but you're worried about your busy schedule, don't be. There's absolutely no commitment and you can skip a week or cancel the service at any time. It works on your schedule. Alright, the veggies are cooked, the couscous is fluffed up and ready, and the chicken's prime for plating. We'll just go ahead and mix everything together in the pot and that's it. You can now plate your dish however you wish. Our final product here shows you how easy it is to make a gourmet dinner from scratch that everyone is sure to love. So if you've been wanting to get more into cooking but aren't really sure where to start, just click that link in our description because the first 50 people that do are going to get $40 off their first two weeks. And that is an awesome deal. Making slime in the kitchen can be a ton of fun, but if you want to take it to the next level and really impress, try making some oobleck. It's what's known as a non-Newtonian fluid, so it doesn't follow Newton's law of viscosity. To put it in simple terms, it's a fluid that seems to get thicker when you apply pressure to it. We'll get more into that in a second, but let's make some. It's pretty simple. All you're going to need is 2 cups of cornstarch and a cup of water. Cornstarch only costs about $1.50, so this is a cheap and fun experiment. Pour your 2 cups of cornstarch into a bowl, and then dump the water right on top. At first, this is going to be pretty tough to work with. Grab a fork and start mixing it all together. Just flip it over on itself and stir to the best of your abilities. Eventually, the substance should start looking more like a liquid than a powdery mess. Once you've worked it around a bit, your oobleck should start developing its non-Newtonian properties. For example, when you try to pull a fork through really fast, it'll actually get stopped about halfway through as the liquid solidifies from all the pressure. But as long as you move through it slowly, it'll act just like a liquid instead of a solid. Feel free to run your hands through it and even squeeze it a bit. 
The strange consistency of this stuff is a cool enough thing to show off on its own, but the real fun comes with sound waves. If you've got a large computer speaker or subwoofer in your house, you can utilize that and pull off some amazing effects. You'll obviously want to protect your equipment, so grab a large piece of plastic wrap and lay it right over top of the speaker itself. We found this works best if you don't secure the plastic down and just leave it loose on the top. Now grab your bowl of oobleck and pour it right into the speaker. You'll want to fill it about halfway to the top. The slime's going to hold the plastic in place and this will make sure no damage comes to your speaker. All you got to do now is hook up something that can play some sound. I'll be using a synthesizer here, but playing a loud bass track from your phone will work just as well. The oobleck will react differently depending on what frequency of sound that you throw at it. High-pitched noises can cause some interesting little ripple patterns, but the real fun comes when you drop the bass. Experiment with different tones until you find one that makes your slime come alive. This stuff is amazing to watch in action, you can even spruce it up with a little food coloring. With the slime in its neutral state, add some food coloring to different locations and let it soak in for a few seconds. Playing some high-pitched sounds will shift the colors around a bit and make some really cool patterns. But when you crank this baby up to 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious science. So when you've got some downtime or you're waiting for dinner to cook, go ahead and see what you can pull off with your favorite music track. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.